and ready to go. So, hello everyone and welcome to a slightly early episode of HP Criticals Does It Hold Up? I am your host, Brandon, and I am joined by a very special guest, my friend, as well as a friend of the website, my dear friend, Toby. Hello, 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 hello. I'm very happy to have you here. I'm very happy that I could catch you because I've wanted to have you on one of these episodes for quite a while now, and I'm glad that we finally (laughs) get to do so. So Yeah, me too. I'm excited. Oh, yes, it's going to be a great time. Especially since before this uh, stream started, you informed me that you have never actually played the NES games with anyone using the online features. No, that is correct. I have only ever played by myself, like my yeah, little loner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this, is going to, so this is going to be a wonderful experience for both of us then, because you'll get to experience this. So hopefully the connection well and holds out okay, but we'll have a good time regardless. We will power through no matter what comes our way. But Definitely. With that being said, the three games that we're going to be trying out today, we're going to be playing a bit of Ice Climber, uh, then we're going to be doing a bit of Balloon Fight, and then once we have done those two, we are going to go to Klukulant, a game that neither of us have played, so that would be an experience. (laughs) Yeah, it could be interesting. (laughs) It could be. It could be. But first, we are starting with Ice Climber. Now... Ice Climber, I dare say, before the days of Super Smash Bros. Melee, was probably not an NES game that many people really even knew about or, quite frankly, cared about. But, of course, Ice Climber is most known these days for featuring Popo and Nana, the Ice Climbers, who, of course, have been in Smash since Melee, only being absent during the Wii U and 3DS iterations. But, uh, yeah, this is the only game that they have come from. This is their first game and the only game. There has never been another Ice Climber game past this one. And quite frankly, I don't understand why, because we'll we'll, we'll touch more on about once we start playing. But um, the controls are a bit slidey, but I think this could very well do with a modern remake or what modern uh, sequel or what what have you. Especially since they're more popular than ever because of this game. But yeah, Ice Climber as an NES game is quite innovative for this time, I'd say. Because a lot of NES games, such as uh, Super Mario Bros., for example only had the players uh, swap in in and out between playing through, whereas Ice Climbers, both player one and player two, do play simultaneously to go up the mountain, and they have to work together in that regard. So it's a very interesting game for his time, but uh, we're going to get started real soon. Let's go ahead and read this description real quick. Ice Climber. As Popo, players use a trusty mallet to work their way up to the mountain. They chip away at the blocks overhead and then jump up through the resulting hole to the mountain's next level. Once Popo reaches the top level, he enters a fast-moving bonus stage in which he can pick up veggies and, hopefully, reach the summit for a big point payoff. Of course, not everyone supported Popo's pastime. Toppies fill Popo's holes, so so players must... There's a lot of peas here. It's just a tongue, twists my tongue a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so players must jump through the gaps quickly. It's easy to slip off some of the ice levels as polar bears, toppies, and other ferocious fauna don't want players up there. There are 32 challenging peaks to scale. How will you fare? All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. That's got to be the most uh, difficult ever description of a game to read. About <laughs> as well as my sentence was just there, but uh, that was like... No, I, under- I understand. I probably should have had another sip of water before attempting that <laughs> Uh, so you can either play the the game linearly going one mountain at a time but as you can see you can also choose which uh, mountain you want to go to you can literally go all the way to the final mountain if you would if you prefer we are going to do it literally for now but we are going to give uh, mountain 32 a try before we end our ice climber session so go ahead and switch over to two player and we're going to go ahead and get started oh my god So so the condor takes the eggplant Players who play Ice Climber Smash are familiar with the eggplant because that is their symbol in Smash Brothers. Alright, we can go ahead and get started. So the controls are very simple. You move around, you got your one your one button to hit the mallet. I have not played this in so long and I forgot how weird it is. <laughs> oh my goodness, he got you. Oh, it's a we- oh, I, I, oh I thought he got me too. Oh, okay, we have lives. Right, I'm with you. Okay, we're doing good so far. This is the first level of mind. Oh, Ooh, that we, should, little... we should be okay. Oh no! I, I, what, what? It's okay. You can get back up. I can get back. Oh no! The to okay, the to no. the topies do fill up the um blocks periodically, so you're not stuck forever usually. Now the ice uh-huh. is where it gets a bit difficult because now you you're sliding along along with the terrain as well. Fun this fact, fun. in the um, NES version of the of the game, um, the, the topies look like little mini yetis, but... <gasps> oh no, I got left behind, so it's all up to you. 
<laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I no, didn't know okay. I left you. <laughs> that's okay. Now you go get the go get the eggplants. Anyway, I'm what gonna up? go. I'm gonna go get the eggplants. <laughs> you gotta get up there. <laughs> uh, there it um, is. Ah! My... No, I'm sorry. <laughs> That was a that's, massive letdown. That's, that's, where the, that's where the animation comes from when they lose in Smash. Their crying animation is right there. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, to be fair, I don't know much about Ice Climbers, so this is probably a good history lesson for me. A bit, but uh, to be fair, there's also not much to know about them. This is their one and only yeah. game. So, you're... Every, that is every, really every, weird that they only had one game. Yeah. It's it, oh, even, weirder, even weirder still that the fact that they only had one game and yet uh, Masahiro Sakurai... Uh, opted to put them into melee. Oh no, you fallen. I, I died you... again. This is a really good. Oh no, a game over. It's okay. Oh, no. Do I come back again? Um, I think after I die, I'll no, do I one don't. more level and then I'll go ahead and uh, take a swim so you're not just sitting in the sidelines the whole time. No, it's fine. You you climb that mountain. I'm clearly not. Ah! Oh. I did not mean to do that. I swear, I promise. I'm pesky. Snowman thing. Yes. Oh, what I was saying before about the about the topies in uh, in the in the North American and European version, the uh, topies are little yetis. But in the original Japanese version, the topies are actually seals. Oh, are the topies these little white dudes? That's the ones. Yep. 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 And the reason why it was changed yeah. in the Western version because they didn't want to promote um, little. Eskimos a lot like uh, hitting hitting seals or, or, or anything of the like. Yeah. But funnily yeah. enough, in the Japanese version of uh, Melee, where you can fight topies and polar bears, in the Japanese version of Melee, you can fight them in their original seal form. Just really? Not, just not in the American. Oh, God. The jump mechanic is very difficult to get used to, I will say that much. Uh, yes. <laughs> That is for definite. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm gonna run out of time. I'm not gonna be able to see all the carrots. I am a failure to the ice cream. Alright, you got You got one carrot. <sighs> the jumping timing is really, really hard. It is so hard. Uh, and that's one of the yeah. reasons I was I, I wish this game would get like a modern remake of such be of source because like it could do a lot to improve the button layouts. Yeah, definitely. I could yeah, you could see it getting a revamp. Um or even a some form of 20 years later sequel, <clears throat> 20, 30 years. Now here's no, the tough one. I got it. Oh my goodness! Oh, well uh, then. No. The remake is only... Oh, I'm not done yet, I guess. Now this one's tough because I have to balance hitting it while also moving Avoiding like this. And the silly obs uh, icicles. Oh my goodness. This is a rough one. Okay. Oh my god, I dread to think what level, what mountain 32 looks like. I've <laughs> seen it. It's, um, it's quite a horror, if I'm being quite oh honest. God. But you'll see soon. You will, you shall see. <laughs> I will see soon enough. Ah! Oh, that was annoying. That was annoying. That was the smallest hole and it was, it was enough. Ah! Oh, I couldn't get my hammer out so fast enough to attack the Toki. Well, that was uh, Mountain 3, correct? I think we can just that try was. Mountain 4. Yeah, I would say yes. Also, you pretty much did Mountain 2 for me. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I, do, I got through one and a bit of a bonus stage, so I'll, I'll chalk that up to a practice. No bonus. That's fair, I suppose. Yes, this is Mountain 3, so yes, for, for, for progress sake, we can go ahead and Mountain 4. Oh my okay. goodness. I wonder, I, I wonder what it would be like for someone... I would love to see someone, like, just, like, rock this game, honestly. Mm -hmm. to see how, how good, how good, how... Make us look fools, frankly. Oh, the eggplant is back, I yeah. trust. Like, an expert, like, a climber, definitely. Ah! Right. Okay. Wait, oh. Okay, I've I... got real bad. I had weird, like, jumping lag there. I'm not, I can't jump. Okay, I can now. Okay, the timing seems to hold up now. Oh, wonderful. Okay, we're up. Yeah, it was a bit odd before. Okay. Oh, no. I don't want to get up too high because then I leave you behind. Okay. I will, I will, okay. I will, I will fend off topies while you make it up here. If I make it up there. 
I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, okay. This is the this oh no. Oh no! no. This is not going well. Uh, oh! No! I okay. Uh, now my now the holes vanished. Okay. The holes vanished. Oh no! That was like I'm jumping and it's not jumping high. It's like jumping just like a stunted jump. It's very odd. Oh, oh my goodness. Yes, Mario, Mario, Popo, and Nana are not. If that sentence made any sense at all. <laughs> okay. There it is. Ah, oh, I missed my opportunity. Now I have yeah, to. Yeah, I don't know if you can. That's what I was trying to figure out. If you can jump through the cloud. Oh it, no, I unfortunately, thought... you most definitely cannot. Oh, these guys can go past this, but I cannot. Oh, okay. I swear I jumped through another one. That's what must have been stunting my progress. I was trying to jump through the clouds. Yeah, you think you'd, you oh. would be able to, because they're clouds, but I, I guess not. Ugh. That bird has got such it's, not very nice movement. <laughs> it's, uh, it's it's got a vendetta against the uh, the ice climber. They don't approve of their got... they don't approve of their climbing. It seems. Oh my god! Definitely not. Maybe try going from the left. I don't know. Can you go from? It's, it's worth a try. Because then you'll have to go left then right. I think. Mhm. Mm it's worth a try, especially since what I have been doing has not been really working Although for me. the timings. Yeah, now gone weird. Okay. Oh, go. Finally. Okay. Yes, we are on the bonus. Well, you were on the bonus stage. <laughs> no, this is a team effort. I wouldn't have gotten this far without your help. We did make it here. Oh, what? <gasps> God, this. Oh, that, that was good. Whoa. This one, seemed, this one seems easier than the other one. <laughs> it, it does. I'm quite surprised, actually. <clears throat> here goes nothing. No! There was nothing. Uh... <laughs> Oh. Oh, nice. You did good, though. You did good. Thank you. Thank you. I tried. I tried very hard. Oh, right. me. Failing in ice climbing heaven. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> ice climbing heaven? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe hell. I don't know. I feel like my playing may have sent him to hell. What, what we have discovered today is that hell is actually cold. <laughs> and, freeze and freezing. Definitely. Oh my goodness. Actually, which one's Popo and which one's Nana? Uh, the blue one that I'm using is Popo, the pink one is Nana. Oh, okay. That was my guess, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, alright. That one's moving really fast. How am I supposed to adjust to that? Ah! That is super quick. It's a good thing that this game doesn't seem to have time limits of any mm, kind. Yeah, As yeah, aside from the bonus levels, countdown. so you can take your time and, and try to uh, get through these levels. <sighs> okay, mm -hmm. okay, it's just patience. That's all, that's all it is. But of course, then you also have the topies there that periodically replenish the blocks that I have worked painstakingly to... Oh, that was... That okay, was so that's a, quite a big hole. <sighs> but my jumping was completely... Which is off. also a, a bit of a downside. No, the bird! The jumping is so weird. <sighs> oh, that pesky bird. It's not like you can even get at an angle where you could hit that bird right now, either. <laughs> no, I, I, I do... Oh, my God. The, my, oh my, work, God. my work has been undone. It has been very much undone. <laughs> that was awful. A polar bear! A pol polar bear. Oh, that's what the polar bear does. So, you know what I just said about there being no time it. limit? The polar yeah. bear is actually the time limit. If, you, ta if, you, if you take up, too long, he, he he does a four. The polar bear jumps and does a four scroll. Oh, no. Okay. It's all right. You're only one life down. <sighs> that was but those so blue ones are conveyor great. belts. They, 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 oh, they, they're, they're constantly moving. They're ice conveyor belts. The worst kind I mean, of conveyor belts. God, who, what the? Who, the smallest who hole thought of this wizardry ice conveyor belt? <laughs> so they slide and you have to. Oh! Uh, no. <laughs> ice climber!
Ugh. I feel like that that way's a dud. You gotta go right. This is, you, you're probably right, but I can't <laughs> move. Yeah, that's like the wrong. Oh, oh. Oh, he's, he's made your footing a little bit more steady. Oh, I dropped oh. the topi. That was that might have worked in your favour. I hope. No, oh, no, oh, I can't, oh, I can't oh, fall oh. now. Wait, there has to be a way. No. Oh, okay. oh, 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 that was a, that was a good uh, dodge. <laughs> oh. Let's see. We're about 15 minutes in the stream. Would you like to try the hell that is level 32? Go on then. <laughs> Judging by my attempts just now, mm. I am <laughs> going to be quietly optimistic, but we'll see. Very well, let us begin. Oh my god. You already see it, don't you, now? I see the... Oh Do you god, see the speed what... of those clouds? Yeah, what is that all about? Oh, and I've... Oh, no, that's slippery. I didn't know that was slippery. That oh. is your conveyor belt. What the flipping hell is going on? Okay, we can do this. I'm... I swear I was on that. Oh, I got blocked by the other cloud that appeared. I'm on. Wait, Ooh. oh, no. What? Oh, what? careful. Uh, you're, uh, on a, you're on a constant conveyor belt. There is no stopping now. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Wait, I went through the level. That was a... That was not fair. What? Wait, you can... <gasps> I didn't know this game had that, where you sprint no. to the other side. Also, it has where you can fly through the scenery, apparently. Oh this did goodness. not tell me. Right, well, I don't know what... Yeah, that was... Wait, I why did I go it. that way? Mine was... Mine... Ooh, okay, this is not conveyor oh belt. It's just very slippery, then. Wait, no, there is a conveyor belt. How in blazes am I supposed to... Wait, which side is it? It's taking me left. Okay, I will remember this. Yeah, it's like... Oh, oh those are too solid. I can't break through that way. Wait, which way am I what? going? Wait, they're rejecting me. They're... It's rejecting... Oh, I gotta go the other way. That's the only solution <laughs> here. Oh. Oh, oh no, he was waiting for me. He was waiting. I won't let him take me down this way. <sighs> My work has been undone again. <laughs> this is the power of Mountain 32, I'd say. Yeah, this is, a, I wonder, this is a hideous mountain. I, I, he had it ready for me right as I was coming in. There was no... I hate you, Topis. No! My jump... No! No! No. Oh my god, I made it, but the Topi was there. Wait, I'm here now, though. I'm here. I'm here. No! But I'm on the level. Oh. I'm on the level. Doesn't matter. No, I can't. No! Uh, uh, Pop out! Uh. Pop out! <laughs> you gotta jump! Hang on. Pop out! Oh, no. Uh, no. What, a, what a tragedy. The block is literally rejecting me. I cannot move forward this way. Here. That polar bear is going to come any second and just annihilate me. Destroy the entire mountain, it will. Not the polar bear, that blooming polar bear. Okay, I seem to be safe you're here. Like, you're so close to the... <gasps> you watch out for that bear. Ah, I see. I cannot move past here. Then I have to... Um, uh, oh, oh, okay, so right, you got one... <gasps> Not where I wanted to end up. Oh, no, actually, you could work. Ah! Oh. No! Well, then. I'd say that's quite a good look at Ice Climber. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that that is a terrifyingly unforgiving platformer. I mean, I, 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 <laughs> you know, I'd, I'd consider a platformer. 
<laughs> well, anyways. Oh, by the way, this is what I was telling you before. Uh, if you look at the bottom where it says select swap player one and player two, that's where you could go if you were like doing a single player game, or if uh, you just, or okay. if you just simply wanted, your, if you happen to be hosting the session but you wanted to do the player two, like for example, if you wanted to be Luigi and Super Mario Brothers, you could do that way as well. Just an option. Mm-hmm. But anyways, that's cool, that's that cool. was um, Ice Climber. I am quite chilly. I am quite chilled to my bone at the difficulty of Ice Climber. Uh, Toby, please offer your thoughts first. <laughs> I mean, yeah, judging by my performance then, clearly I was not that great at the game. So, yeah, that was tough. That was, like, really, really tough. Mm-hmm. The jumping mechanic just seems unforgiving. Like, wow. Yeah. No, um, it's, it's definitely not got that smoothness of today's game. No, absolutely but, not. Like, but to be fair, actually, I can. I think for a old, uh, old school classic, it's uh, it's one that I could, if I was playing it on my own, it would make me want to keep playing because of how annoyingly frustrating it is. <laughs> I, I think I, you I, either go one of two ways: you either give up or you just keep powering through. But I'm, I, I feel like I would power through. I understand that feeling. Yes, for sure. I, I agree with everything you have said about the the game. I think it would. Uh, definitely be improved a great deal by the jumping mechanics because I feel like that's one of the main barriers of this game. Like, it's, uh, I think the difficulty overall is pretty fair, all in all, but the jumping, it's, it's it takes a big bit to get used to. Uh, when I had Grayson in for this show, we were playing Mario Brothers, and it's very much the same thing where the, Mar- the jumping mechanics for Mario Brothers are not quite as fluid as you would find in Super Mario Brothers. And Ice Climber, I think, uh, finds itself in the very much the same position where, like, a lot of, a lot of the... Um, it's definitely difficult. and But I do like the fact that you can choose whichever mountain you would like. Like, if you have a very specific mountain you can go to, it's really not based in progress. Like, a completionist, I suppose, would want to complete all 32 mountains just to say that they had done so. But if you wish, to, but if a level was really tough for you and you just wanted to progress forward, you could do that as well. Though I can't imagine that if you got stuck on, like, for example, level seven, that level eight would treat you much better and continuing onwards at, yeah. in that regard. But I guess that's an yeah, option. Definitely. But it's an option there, and I appreciate it. As far as whether or not this game holds up today, um. I think what this game introduces with its simultaneous two-player multiplayer is very important. And I think that was one of the reasons why perhaps Masahiro Sakurai did look upon this game uh, upon making a character for Smash Bros. despite it only having the one game in its series. It's it's inspiring because a lot of this is not this is not rare anymore. You can find many games today, platforming or otherwise, where two players can work simultaneously towards a common goal. But for an NES game, this is, I think, I I think more any I think more games today owe to Ice Climber than we might think, because it just really wasn't very common at the time. So I think it's a very important game. But as far as whether I think it, the, the, the game holds up today, I feel like if his jump mechanics were, were better, I feel like it really would because I think what is here is a lot of fun. But this is a game I think is really in dire need of um, a modern remake. And what are your thoughts on how you think this game holds up? I could definitely see it being having a lick of paint and giving, well, Nintendo giving it that little extra pizzazz for the 2020 or the this 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 side of the years. I agree. Um, it, yeah, it is... I don't know whether... It, I don't, yeah, it's a hard... Because I feel like the actual concept of it is is still... It still could work. It is, mm-hmm. it is like you said, kind of let down by the jumping mechanic. And, yeah, it's just so tough. But like you said, it yeah. is good you can pick... You can pick the mountain. And I feel like a lot of... Um, a lot of older games seem to have that weird mechanic where they'd be like enter this overly complex password that you're never going to remember and only right. once yes to walk back to level 152 mm-hmm, but this mm-hmm. is just a simple yeah skip to your mountain and off you go yeah not um, a lot of nes games so, did that it no was, that is handy it, um, it was it was very much back and forth with it some nes games did what ice climber does and offers you the opportunity to go directly into the level of your choice while others you did have to memorize passwords and um Actually, last week, I played Adventures of Lolo with um, Christy, 
And eventually, Lolo does have a password system, and it was very much that. You into the, input the specific password, and you return to the exact level that you had left off on. Or if you just happen to have the passwords handy, you could just go directly into the s selected level of Adventure of Lolo, and off you go. Um, so I do appreciate that Ice Climber does have that option. Yeah, with a coat of mm -hmm. paint, I think I think a modern Ice Climber could be beautiful. And again, yeah, with, definitely. with Ice Climbers receiving so much exposure these days because of Super Smash Bros., I still remember when the Everyone Is Here trailers were unveiled for Ultimate, how many people were happy that Ice Climbers finally came back. It's just shocking to me that yeah. so many people... Uh, like, so many people do like Ice Climbers, even if they don't necessarily use them, and they just really haven't gotten a new game of any kind in modern days. Heck, even Kirby in some modern okay, games, it, if you give him, like, the ice ability, he even wears Popo's hoodie like he does in Smash Bros. Yeah. There's so much... Yeah, they do They do yeah, seem heavily neglected in, in uh, today's era, apart from Smash Brothers, like you said. But I equally, always... yeah, they're, they're certainly not... One of my go-to characters for Smash, but I yes. I feel like people will now to like know them more from Smash Brothers than probably Ice Climber. They just most think most oh, definitely yeah Ice Climbers from Smash. <laughs> most most definitely, especially considering that uh, at this point Ice Climbers have appeared in more Super Smash Bros. games than they have actually in their own series. <laughs> yeah, they're right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Most most characters in Smash can't say that, but they they definitely are are, are, in, uh, are in that. So, uh, setting yeah i wonder if it like underperformed back in the day as to why they didn't do a sequel because now thinking about it i'm just thinking it's very strange they did not do a sequel because there's so many other sequels to other they well love yeah a sequel. i agree like sequels. if it if it, if it didn't if it didn't perform well you you must also remember ice climber was one of the initial nes games there was about 18 i think in mm. total nes games so it's inevitable that not all of them would meet the same success as super mario brothers or even some of the other ones that were a bit more successful but yeah, regardless right. of regardless of sales, I mean, ice climbers are known. In fact, during the Wii era when WiiWare was starting to finally be created, I was, I would have bet many money that that ice climber would have been a modern WiiWare remake, especially since they had done a remake, uh, well, not a remake, I guess it was kind of a remake of Excite Bike. I don't know where Excite Bike. Well, there's this one, but ice climber never got the same treatment. Not on any yeah. new shop. Who knows? Maybe one day in the future. But yeah. New, new, new paint would do Ice Climber well, but for now, I mean, it's it's good fun with friends. A lot of, not a lot of NES games will offer that to you in this selection. You're either doing, you switching back and forth using this uh, app sys uh, features, or you're just taking turns. Like for example, Super Mario Brothers to Super Mario Brothers Three. So there's not many mm -hmm. games that really offer you the chance to really play together. So I, I do give it credit for that. But beyond that, yeah, definitely. It just it just depends on if you really just like jive with it. But the jumping mechanics will probably turn off a lot of people. Depends how good a patience level you have. <laughs> that too. But with that being said, we are going to move on to game two, and that is uh, Balloon Fight. So Balloon Fight is a very interesting game. Uh, the late Satoru Iwata he actually developed this game for himself, and I think this was his first game that he personally uh, developed and directed. You can correct me if I'm wrong there, but I think that's true. I know I when the Wii U came out and they were finally starting to bring virtual console games to the service, um, he definitely had a few things to say about Balloon Fight. I'm sure he had a very close connection to the game. And so it was one of the first games they had actually brought out during that insane 33 cent deal that they had during when the game first came out on Wii U. Um, but as for Balloon Fight itself, it's... Obviously, Ice Climber, Smash Bros. is no Ice Climber more because the Ice Climbers are actually there. But Balloon Fight does get referenced here and there in Smash as well. The Flipper Island, that, that weird thing that's kind of like flipped up and down or around, was in Melee instead of the um, Bumper Item for a little bit. Um, when the Villager from Animal Crossing does his up a t special, he goes into two balloons and does the Balloon Fight motion. So there's definitely some references to Balloon Fight in later games. Oh, and of course, the Balloon Fight stage! That was in both the 3DS version as well as the Switch version. And mm -hmm. it's literally it's NES graphics. So, but yeah, some people know Balloon Fight today. I'd say if, you, if, you're, if, if you're a Nintendo uh, historian or what have you, you probably know Balloon Fight. It's, it's kind of fallen to the annals of history to a lot of gamers' minds, but I think Nintendo fans probably still remember it well. But the game yeah, itself is pretty... I did. What's it, what was it? Was that? Weirdly, I, did have, I had an NES when I was younger. Oh, but really? I was like... Yeah, I was... I don't know, I'd say it's what it was my first console, but like Balloon Fight and Ice Climber I never played. The two 
games that I always remember playing are Duck Hunt, um, Super Mario Bros, obviously, mm-hmm. and um, another one called Kickle Cubicle that no one no one remembers. I don't. Know. <laughs> Every, no, everyone I speak to, no one knows what that one is. But it was basically this little blob, and he he you had to push ice blocks uh, into. I can't remember what the actual game the uh, object of the game was, but I know you pushed blocks into kind of blank squares and it would make a pathway hmm. but there was kind of enemies and it was all ice orientated again but yeah it was called kickle cubicle and he used to like that but balloon fight i have played um yeah a couple of times uh i think i played it on my 3ds as well because they had the ambassador program right i think that's where mm. i played it as well Which, i don't know if that was yeah. my first time playing it but it was definitely one of the places i had played it but balloon definitely fight good to give it a whirl I think so too, and we'll and we'll de- we'll touch on that in a second once we actually start playing. But balloon fight's a r- rather simple game. One or two people just play as their little balloon fighter with their two balloons, and basically you have to defeat all the other enemies that are trying to go after you without falling into the water or losing your balloons. If you get fall into water, a giant demonic fish will eat you whole, and that was quite horrifying even at this time. That fish, by the way, <laughs> that that they're terrifying fish. Does actually reappear in um, modern Smash as well, not just in the balloon fight stage, but also in the ice climber stage, the summit. In that, if you were to fall into the water in summit, then the same fish from balloon fight will come out of the water and gobble you whole, and you lose a life instantly. Ah, oh, interesting. I had no idea for years that that was the same fish from balloon fight because even no, back in the original I can't Smash, imagine it now. Even back in the original Smash Dojo that um, Sakurai made for Smash Brawl for the Wii, um, he showed a picture of the fish and says, that fish looks familiar. I was like, but from where? I, I said. And then years later, someone told me that it came from Balloon Fight. I was like, oh, really? So, it's interesting. That's but anyway, awesome, yeah. Let's read this description. I forgot to switch it to this one this time, so let me go ahead and do that. Anyway, controlling a character to pop your opponent's balloon before they pop yours sounds easy, doesn't it? Don't be fooled by this game's simple premise or cute exterior. Underneath these, you'll find a game with strategy to spare. After mastering the easy-to-learn controls, you'll still have to get a grip on the game's impressively realistic physics. And if that's not enough, there are still the ever-increasing enemies and environment sizes like lightning and water. Or try the game's second mode, Balloon Trip, if you feel like taking a break from the action. Just want to see how long you can stay off. And hey, who doesn't like popping balloons sometimes? With that, let's go ahead and get started. So There was also that, um, yes. balloon, there was that balloon fight stage in um smash yeah there was a balloon it was no, i'm trying not a, yeah i didn't mean a stage i said the wrong word there was a modern balloon fight game. was it in we play no a modern balloon fight oh yes i know what you mean the one the, in, it balloon, was in a, was nintendo it an exercise land. game yeah the, oh yeah it was nintendo land yeah that was it yeah yes there was a there was a modern <laughs> balloon trip uh put in nintendo land yes i did forget about that but that is very true um, yeah. yeah, if you so if you're among the uh, few that had a Wii U and played Bal- Nintendo Land, you inevitably tried Balloon Trip Breeze at some point. That was actually a very fun game. That it's was a, with, yeah, I enjoyed that. <laughs> it's a it's a and that game is very much a modern Balloon Trip as well. Like if you look at the settings here on the start screen, we have one player mode, two player mode, and Balloon Trip. When we do Balloon Trip, that is very much um, recreated in uh, Wii U uh, Nintendo Land. But we are going to do the two-player mm-hmm. game first mm-hmm. so we can play. And then I think we can take turns with Balloon Trip for a little bit before we move on to the next. So, let's see. It's 25 out there. Let's go ahead and do the player game. And off we go. Starts you off immediately. This, too, is also a cooperative game. Oh, or not. Did I just hurt you? Oh, it's cooperative slash competitive. So you can interfere with your opponents as well. I am... Do I... Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, you're down to one balloon because of my antics. I didn't think I could do that to you. Oh, my God. Oh, you can pop each other. That's right. Oh, no! Oh! That poor fish. I feel bad for it. I mean, not the fish. I'm sorry, the bird. Yeah. The poor oh, bird. The poor... I feel bad. I feel... Uh... Okay. You still have lives, though. Well... Oh yeah, I still got lives. Oh, this is this is good because at least it's not one hit death, <laughs> which seems to work against me. Oh no! You can also pop those little balloons. That, I mean, the bubbles that come out of the sky as well. Oh, oh right geez. off the bat, I mean this game. Oh my goodness, this game this game too is like cooperative multiplayer. Well, not cooperative, but like simultaneous multiplayer is what I meant to say. Not much like Ice Climber, but this already. I feel like he uh, handles a lot better than um, Ice Climber. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Got him. 
Like it, it does take a, it does take a second to get used to the um, very unique controls of it. But I don't think the it floaty feels mechanic. Bad. <laughs> I don't think it feels bad at all. Oh my god! I gotta yeah, remember. I know what you mean. It's oh god no. Where? Ooh, I got popped by something. Yeah, it was like. Oh no. Oh my god. These wood peppers. I'm gonna get hit. Oh no! Oh, damn it, the fish ate me. The fish is your no. If, you're, if you have less balloons, do you get. Um, you have to flap more? I wonder. I haven't noticed no, I any felt... significant I haven't noticed any significant difference, but I wonder if that might be the case. Oh my god. I was like going into the fish's mouth, but it was like the game was dragging me down. Ah, we're in a bonus game. Is this where you have to land on a No no you get the balloons? Just collect the balloons for points. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 hello. Oh, you're good. You're good at this one. I wish it told me how many points I was getting though. I think that's to judge at the end. Oh, Sorry. No, I'm like, I don't apologize. know if we're competitive, I don't know if we're playing against or to- oh. It's both. Well, game, <laughs> game on. There we go. <laughs> oh, for this one it doesn't take lives, oh, well then let's have at it then. I think it's- Oh, does it not? <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got them all though. Anna Perfect, look at that. Wow. Go us. On to the next round then. Alright, okay. I, I do I do enjoy how if you're fast enough and good enough at the game, you can stop them before they even get take to the air. Yeah. Oh, they popped me. Oh no. Ah! You got popped. You got popped. Oh, it's all you, Toby. Oh no. Show them, oh, I hate show, this. Show them, show them, show them what you're made of. All the this is are, me making up. This is me making up for my awful um, time on Ice Climber. <laughs> <laughs> I survived longer than you. Yes. <laughs> oh, apart from this bird isn't going anywhere soon. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, careful! Oh my goodness. That was very lucky. Uh, oh my go. goodness! This does seem to be your game, doesn't it? And all we'll the points see. are for you to win. Oh, oh, no, they've all come after me. Right, here we go. Quite tragic indeed. Oh, oh! No! <laughs> I believe the victory is yours. You did uh, obtain more points. Oh, the, the title music changes well. a bit oh, it... as well. Uh, I think we can do one more two player round. Yeah, let's go. We're trying balloon trip. The game starts well, off um, the game starts off immediately, which is something I also appreciate. Like there's yeah, no there's... oh there's no like oh. ready, go. It's just like as soon as you hit yeah. two player mode, you've already you're you're all set. You don't even wait for a balloon to get set up as well. I By the way, I hope I'm not jinxing this by saying this, but like we have not really run into any uh, I don't know if you have significant connections problems. No, I don't think I have so far. That's good. Um, For some reason, it was, it was popping up a lot. It, your connection was about the same as what Christy had, but we were having like a lot of problems playing um, Adventures of Lolo and Kirby last week. Oh. Uh, don't know why that was. I don't know if I played that one. Oh, damn it now. If you've not, oh, Kirby's Adventure or Adventures of Lolo? Uh, Adventures of Lolo. Oh, okay. Surprisingly fun game. I think I, I think you, you might actually enjoy it. What what sort of game is that? It's um, how can I describe it? It's it's a it's kind of like an adventure puzzle. It's not the same like a Duck to Mario or anything like that. Basically, it's a top down mm -hmm. perspective, and you have to um. Ooh, I got eaten by the fish. Oh no! I, gu I guess the oh my game over already. Oh my goodness! I guess the That's best way to pass. describe it would be Zelda esque puzzles. Okay. Each, each new level you would go to in Adventure of Lolo would feature kind of a, like um, different enemies and different puzzle elements that you have to figure out in order to progress. I'm hooked already. You said the, the summon word, which was Zelda. <laughs> I figured it might. <laughs> uh, yeah, give it a try. It's a, it's a, it's a one-player game, so you can try it out literally whenever you, you like. Have you played um, Star Tropics? No, that's on the list. That's on, that is on the list. It is a game I 100% intend to try on this show as well. That one's pretty good. I had a good fun time on Star Tropics. 
Was it? Did you try for the first time on the um, on this uh, Nintendo Switch app, or is it yeah, you tried I did. It before? Okay. No, yeah, it was it was my first time, and yeah, it it holds up pretty well, I'd say. Oh really? I should have you back mm. on for the when I do Star Tropics. Then I'd like to try it at some point. I would. Yeah, I'd love to. Okay, I'll let you know when it's coming up as well, and then we and I can have you back for that episode. Cool. Is it is it long enough that you think I can give it like this one? I did three different games for um, this session because they're rather short games and you can pretty much figure out what they're about quickly. But yeah. Do you think Star Tropics would be a long enough game that I could devote an entire episode to? Uh, yeah, definitely. Because it's more like um, adventure style Zelda. Wonderful. Then that's what I'll do. So you could you could even you could dedicate a whole evening to it. <laughs> All right. Then that is what that is what I will do. Reminds me of like the old uh, Dragon Quest game. Oh, really? Hmm. Gave me those vibes. I just realised I'm still... Yeah, you're just, you are just... Here, aren't I? You are kicking <laughs> ass and taking names. I am quite impressed. I'm, I'm at the same point I was before, I think. Was I at this level? I don't know. Uh, I think you are, but... Uh, I was, I'll, I'll, also, I've noticed that your colours are quite similar to what Mario wore in like the early games. Well, no, actually, yeah. no. Not early games. Modern. You're wearing blue overalls. Oh my god, I dropped my controller. That's what I was going to ask you. What control style are you playing with? Are you playing the Joy-Cons? Ah, so for the for, so for this show, I'm actually, um, to try to get the, as much of as the authentic NES experience as possible, I am actually using the uh, NES controllers that you could get as a Switch Online member. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll go I wasn't that. originally going to, but I thought for the show, for the purpose of the show, that it could be fun to actually use the actual NES controllers. Yeah. No, that makes sense. I missed out on those, although... Yeah, I'm not sure I would. You could still get them, but them. I don't know if it's, <laughs> if it's worth it. I mean, your Pro Controller, your Joy Cons work just fine. It's it's, it's not yeah. like you're losing out on much. Yeah, I felt like I was like, oh, okay, they look nice, but I don't probably don't need them just yet. Yeah. They look kind of clunky on the side of the console, though. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They do. I only do it when I actually need to charge it up. Otherwise, I just leave it alone. All right, so that, that was a game over. So we're going to go ahead and try the balloon trip mode, where instead of battling opponents, you are just trying to make it to the end of the obstacle course without dying and getting as much balloons as possible. I suppose I'll go first. I also love the music in this mode. And it, oh yeah, this is yeah. Oh, it's very hard though. <laughs> wow, that was a that was a quick. It's fish very qu it's very quick. It's very quick. Your turn. Okay, let's go. You just want to hit plus when you're ready to get started. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, oh, I hate it. <laughs> oh, that it's was cool. such. That was such a. Like, I'll, let you, I'll, just close... one more. I'll just do one more before I take over for my, my turn. Go ahead and give one yeah. more go. Okay. I'm not gonna go that way this time. <laughs> I forget it's like where your balloons are, not mm -hmm. you as a person. There you go, much better this time already. Don't speak too soon. <laughs> ah! I just judged it a little bit too much to the right. I will say that the Wii U version is, of this is much easier than this one, at least off the bat. Yeah. Yeah, but, I think you had to. You had to. I swear, you had to blow into the microphone, the Wii U microphone. Oh, I think you did too. That sounds right, actually. Yeah, I feel like you did, and it was actually still easier than this one. <laughs> they've, uh, from memory, it seems like they've recreated the same. I think they recreated the same track oh, layout. My or... God. Oh my goodness! God, I that was a... that was so quick as well. It scrolls oh. so fast. It really does. This is. This is a fun just to see how far you can go, honestly. Yeah. But it's it, 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 you have to do it several attempts to like really get a good score. However. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I'm gonna go up. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. Let's see what I can do this time. So oh. close. <laughs> Where, with um, with the uh, with the um, regular balloon fight mode, you could uh, make a few mistakes here and there just to just to progress. But balloon trip, 
you are you must be precise. You must know where you're going. Yeah, there's no there's, hesitation. There's no hesitation. Less margin for error. God, there's like no margin for error on this one. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, were you a Double Dragon fan? Um, I haven't dabbled in too many beat em ups, honestly. So, Double mm -hmm. Dragon, I've, I've, I've definitely touched. But I can't say I'm not, like a fan, per se, only because I just haven't played much of it. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. That was my. That was also one of my go-tos back in the day. I loved Double Dragon. <gasps> ooh, ooh, ah! This, the fish scared that, me, and then I went right the into the Yeah, I was going to say, popped out with no warning there. <sighs> okay. Go ahead. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll go for another about five minutes or so. They did that thing as well. I don't know if it's the same one here, but uh, uh, you would travel if you travelled long enough on the Nintendo Land one. You went through different day periods, didn't you? It went from like night yes. to day. Oh, you did, and that was wonderful. Oh no! <laughs> that was like, wait, did the lightning disappear after you hit it? It looked like it did. Yeah, I think it, I hit it and then it vanished. Hmm. I think my only complaint about this mode is so far is like I wish like um I wish that um you had the option to like um like we're 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 making two player work by just simply switching in between our in between our losses, but I wish there was, there was an option where you could just do like a dedicated two player mode and just oh, automatically right, yeah. switch between people to see how far you could go. Cause I mean this what we're doing works, but it is a bit tedious. Yeah, I know what you mean. So it could just kind of automatically switch between whoever didn't die last. Right, exactly. <laughs> oh, Look at you, oh, now, you're, now you've moved on to moving lightning. Which... Oh, whoa, what was that? I don't know how I got through there. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Wait, what's happening? What's going on? I've stopped. You've, oh. re you've, you've advanced to the next level. So I was like, I've broken the game. You get a second to breathe. Oh no, that was the wrong way. Wrong way. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. No. You made it all the way to 40. That, that is very good. That might be the best tough. attempt. I'll do I'll, I'll do a few more, but like, I think that might be the best yeah. we get. <laughs> <laughs> Why did it look like, almost like the, uh, I don't know. The moving, the moving... The moving ones almost seemed to be easier than the stationary. <laughs> just a bit, just a bit. The fish wasn't hungry though, I suppose. <laughs> Which, you know, I I, I, uh, I have no issues with. He, if, he, if, he, if he doesn't want an afternoon snack, then... Good on him, I suppose. Ah. That's the furthest I've made, though. You do gradually get better the longer you, you, you persist at it, which is something I do appreciate any time. If, if something yeah. is hard, but, you, but there's visual improvement, that's a, that's a good sign because it just means that the um it's not too hard then, it just means yeah. that you have to um, learn and adapt. If something st stops you indefinitely, then that's something I don't appreciate as much. And and then when it comes to game difficulty. Mhm. Mm no, I'm with you there. That was kind of like the um. Sorry, I keep mentioning it. The other game on Nintendo Land where there was that. Oh no! It was like the pinball, not the pinball, the little um car with wheels and you had to oh the donkey go. kong one yes yeah that was it the donkey kong one and you, was it was so h hard but if you just kept doing it you learned it so well i thought i was figuring out something there oh my god that's insulting Look, i died and then the fish and came fish. <laughs> that's very insulting all right this will, this will be the last attempt you can go for it let's go have you had a go at the um, Mario 35, like the competitive I have. one? I did a, I did a yeah. stream of it on the uh, launch day, and I quite like it honestly. It's it's uh. It's good. I've, yeah, I quite like it. <laughs> but the but the problem, the, well, my only issue with it is that if you're really good, it's very hard to lose. Like when I when I, I had made it all the way to rank three. And the other two remaining mm -hmm. players had their time at like 247 seconds each. And it was never ending. I wanted to see who was going to win, but I was waiting for mm -hmm. about five minutes and they just were not dying. Yeah, three was the best I've got so far. And yeah, I know what you mean. I found the same. You literally just end up going through the same areas and you're like, oh, okay, someone needs to die now. Someone yeah. needs to leave. 
So if you get matched in with, with just pros, you, you your your chances of winning mm-hmm. are just like non-existent. But there's a lot there, and it does feel nice. I like fighting all the enemies. You get to it has like all the cool stuff that Tetris 99 had, but applied to Mario. So I really enjoy it. It's a very it's a, it's, yeah. it's, it's very good. I'm definitely gonna play it a few more times. Kind of given a new months. spin on it, hasn't it? Oh yeah, always appreciate. I mean, I don't think it... Yeah, definitely. I don't think anyone foresaw a competitive Super Mario. And game here we are. Coming. I would. I, I'm, we're going to talk about Bloom Fight in a second, but I would also like to say that I would also very much like it if they ever uh, uh, ported for the Super Mario Brothers Deluxe that they had released for Game Boy Color, because that had many, many modes added to the additional Super Mario Brothers, like a uh, versus mode for one. Like mm. that, that was crazy. You could just like compete to get the most red coins or get the most coins in the stage. Like I would love it if that one came back, but who knows? What we do know is that we Strange did play. Is that we do is that we did play balloon fight and we have thoughts. So, as we were saying, uh, Ice Climber had the uh, simultaneous multiplayer co-op mode, and it was very much a co-op mode for Ice Climber's sake. I mean, you could compete from points, but you're kind of working together to get to the top of the mountain. Whereas balloon fight is very much both. You are competing to get to the uh, you're competing and you're cooperating to go through the levels. But um, you could also attack your opponent as well, which is quite mean. But you could—it's an option if you really are just playing it competitively. Um, it controls really well. It's—you have to get used to it because it's about doing timing your hops correctly at the right time to make sure you're moving the balloon freak well. But once you figure it out, I think it actually controls very well. It's very unique controlling. A lot of people may not feel it like right away, but if you stick with it, I think it's very fun. And it is another game where you can play simultaneously with a friend and compete to, you know, get the high score in the in the different levels or work together to complete all the levels to begin with. Um, and then you have your fun balloon trip mode where you can just, like, one person or you could just swap between like we were doing to try to get to as far as you can and get as many balloons as possible. So I quite like it. But how are you feeling about it? Yeah, I thought it was very, very good. Yeah, I thought it held up well. Um, definitely the floaty mechanic isn't the easiest, but it's nowhere near as hard as the jumping mechanic in Ice Climber, if we're comparing it. I, um, I would 100% agree with that. 100%. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought it held up quite well, and it's definitely, like you said, one of those games you can just kind of rinse and repeat and practice the same bits and know that you're getting... Mm-hmm. Well, hope that you're getting like better at certain areas, especially on that balloon trip. Yeah, um, for sure. And um, yeah, I, I would definitely be able to play that for for a good, I don't know, a good while a I, before I, think, I got bored. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, no, it, 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 I think in that regard it holds up well as a game that is currently available <clears throat> on mm-hmm. your Nintendo Switch Online for free. That you can just pop on and either play with a friend for the balloon fight mode or just by yourself to just get as far as you can the balloon trip mode. I think it's very good. And one distinction that I want to give to this game that Ice Climber didn't, that we mentioned once or twice during our play of it, is that, yeah, this game did, in a way, receive a modern remake with the Nintendo Land thing, with its Balloon Trip mode specifically, which is a much Mm -hmm. better version of the Balloon Trip mode. It's not as hard, but it's much longer, and of course it's a modern version that you could play if you have a Wii U. It's actually very Mm -hmm. good. This game also, by the way, has a sequel. It has a sequel... And the Game Boy Code. Yeah, I didn't know that. I did not know that. It does, yeah. Like Ice Climber got nothing, but this game got a sequel for the Game Boy called Balloon Kid, which is a lot like this game. But you play, I guess, as the daughter of the balloon fighter. She's like a little girl with like pigtails, and she has like her own two balloons. But unlike Balloon Fight, which is very much an arcade type game where you're trying to get through as many levels without dying, um, Balloon Kid has levels, like actual levels that you must complete. Um, okay. it, very much in the vein of balloon trip where you're trying to like dodge obstacles to reach the end of the goal. But of course, because it is a longer game, it's the level, it's not as hard as balloon trip. I mean, probably the later levels probably get as hard as balloon trip, but the other ones are very much meant for you to try to get through as many levels as possible. So it exists, mm-hmm. but I don't think many people have played it. I don't think many people have heard of it. So there was, uh, a, just... there was also that, um, club Nintendo exclusive work, uh, tingles balloon fight that they did as well, where you're just playing as tingle, his two <laughs> balloons to avoid. I, I, I don't think there's any Zelda characters in that game besides tingle himself. I think you very much are just playing balloon fight with tingle. So, but it's mm-hmm. there for those who managed to get it during that time. 
Those well, tingle fanatics, they're out there. The tingle fanatics, they exist. They very much do exist. <laughs> I just looked at a few screenshots from Balloon Kid, and it does, does sort of look familiar, actually. Now I, I'm looking at it. I, I played a bit of it on the 3DS, because it is available on the 3DS Virtual Console. But um, it's uh, fine. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's fine. It's fine. I'm just happy that Balloon Fight got something, because, <clears throat> again, I think it does deserve it. Um... I don't know how much more that they would do even do a balloon fight at this point. Like Ice Climber, I think needs something, but balloon fight. I mean, it got a Game Boy sequel, a, a DS spinoff with Tingle, and that balloon mm-hmm. trip game. I don't know how much more they would do with this, but I think the base game that you have right there is fine. I think for a game for a game that you do have, if you have a Switch Online, it's a perfectly good game to just find a friend and just like compete in balloon fight or just take turns in balloon trip or even do it by yourself. Like either way is perfectly fine. I think the game does hold up pretty well. Balloon Fight is is still a lot of fun today. I think. Yeah, yeah, I'd agree. Now then, it's time for our third and final game of the uh, of the of, of the afternoon slash evening. <clears throat> Clue Clue Land. Now this game, I confess that I only know like a handful of things about this game, but I'll tell you what I do know. Um, apparently this game takes place mostly in water. The main character that you see on the screen there. Oh, hang on. Let me actually switch over to this. Is a is a is a is a guy called Bubbles, and the game apparently involves a lot of swinging around. Only reason I know that is because there is this Game Boy Advance game called Donkey Kong King of Swing that apparently was very inspired by this game, and Bubbles even appears as an unlockable character in said game. Other than that, Clue Clue Land I think has a song in Smash and the Unira item, which is that urchin that like like when you throw at people spikes come out of it, comes from this game as well. But I think that's about it as far as like I know about this game. Uh, neither Toby and I have played that's it. Already, so that's already more than me. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's it. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna learn more about this game as we go forward. How it plays, what the deal is, what have you. I do know it does have two player. I did research that much, so we'll be able to. I don't know if it's simultaneous multiplayer or we're taking turns like the last two game or like you know we'll see. Anyway, let me go ahead and read this over. So, 85, so this was another launch NES game I see. The greedy sea urchins have stolen all of Cluckoo Land's gold bars and buried them in a series of mazes. As Bubbles, a brave bubble fish, you'll set out to uncover all of the gold bars in each maze. But you'll have to be careful. Sea urchins will pursue Bubbles relentlessly, and there are also dangerous black holes that must be avoided. What? Bubbles isn't defenseless, though, as she... This is a girl, Wow. Uh, she has the ability to stun sea urchins with sound waves and quickly change direction using posts scattered throughout the stages. Not only that, but the location of the gold bars in each maze form the outline of another object. So once you know the object, you're well on your way to finding the gold. With 21 stages to complete and increasingly complex conditions, like having to pass over the gold bars twice to uncover them, you might just want to bring along a friend with help. I'm glad I do because that sounds so complex, but we're gonna give it our we're gonna give it a solid try. Yeah, we'll give it a whirl. I noticed already. The format is very similar to Ice Climber, where it has a player one score and player two score at the bottom there. Yeah, that's good shout. Good shout. Oh my god. Are what? we starting? No. Oh. I'm about to now. Oh, you know what? Now, you swing off the things, don't you? Yes. Except I don't know what I'm doing. Wait. I don't even... I can't even... Oh, I've got a cursor. Oh, no, the unit is there. Oh, I don't... Why have I got flags? I am so confused. Oh, no! Are you supposed to... I don't know what we're supposed to do! <laughs> Are we against each other? I thought... Um, I don't I know how I'll get my arm out. I think we're trying to get to the goal. This is completely... I recognize the music from this from the Smash. Hearing the original, oh my god, I've died. Poor Bubbles. Is... No. What has happened to me? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I made it to the goal. Uh, I did not. Know. I did not. Know. You're still in. Ha- what? Maybe we don't have to. Uh... Have you got to collect all the coins? No. Oh, you've got to open all the gates. You've got to make all the thingies yellow, surely. Ah, uh, makes some sense. Maybe? I don't know, I might have made that up though. Oh, yeah, if you it. swing right... 
If you swing right round, you get it. There you go. I'm guessing I'm gonna go. Oh, hello. We ran out of time. We all we almost made a human person there. <laughs> oh, wait. So there's puzzle. I'm not in it anymore. This? Oh, okay. That's that's my theory gone. Have you got to make the picture? Look, it's a human. It's a little man. Oh, and then you go to the pink. Uh, I reckon that's that's it. No. The level's not complete yet. I haven't complete. You got you've got to go to the pink bar, maybe. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I will give it a go. Let's we'll see if we can make it. Yeah, I get it now. You you obviously make. Oh. oh. You must have to make shapes of um. Because that's like a man with arms, it looks like. That was tough. Well, let's give it another go. Let's try again. We can do I've this. now had to switch to my Joy-Cons in one hand each, because my Pro Controller ran. <laughs> it died. <sighs> oh no. It's always the worst. I can't, under I can't work out which button you press to grab. Wait, there's different I'm things not... here now. There's a bag of cash over there. I've just yeah. Okay. No. Oh. No. Oh, so we can't oh, affect no. each other. Oh, no. 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 Go up. Go up. Go up. Oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> this is a heart. This is a heart, clearly. We can see the heart ah, shape yes, for me. Indeed. Need this one. And then... Oh! So you gotta figure out the puzzle, I see. Yeah, I figure out what's supposed to be. No, I'm I gotta get the top of the way. Ah, we're but okay, we gotta we gotta complete that last hole up in the top there. Yeah, I can Ah but I'm keep running into the universe. Oh no, where am I? I'm I looking at wait. Damn it, I was a let down. Oh there's a timer in the I need to work out which way my... I don't understand which buttons I'm pressing to get the hand to go. Yeah, that's... Oh we yeah, we've the, got the... The beams I, that we I've haven't not been using. Be, yeah, that must, that must kill them. Well, 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 right, well, let's go again. Let's go again. We're slowly getting there. <laughs> slowly. I th I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. you got... Yeah. Okay. We've got I'm this clearly now. 800 points is my go-to, because I got 800 points last time. I don't know what this one might have been. You know what we could just do? Just do this, go up and down like that. Maybe it would... Oh! I got a... Did you see that? I just got a thingy. Oh, it stuns them. Wait, does it kill them? Look, if you land on the pink thing, you get bounced, basically. Hmm. Let's... Sorry. Oh, it's okay. Oh, Ooh, hello. This pattern is supposed to be. Getting the swing of this now. Getting the swing of this. Ah, I see what you did there. <laughs> ah, well, that's you. I thought you were an enemy. Maybe I am. Oh. <laughs> what? Wait, what's happened? Are we stuck? <laughs> oh, never mind. No, we're good. I thought I was about to say we glitched the game. Right, what are we missing? I can't even. This is a face, okay. So we've got to go up here and then this way. Up. We've done it now, surely. The nose in the middle, maybe? There's a line. Oh no, I can see. There's a line here. We haven't got uh, this one. No. Oh, I stunned it. Yeah, I see what you did there. No! We ran out of time. The time is so but quick. We're, but we're okay. We, we, we can do it now. <gasps> Only because we've got time. That's not what I meant. Oh no, you actually die when you like, go in the middle. Oh. It's that, it's that really? one. Really? Yeah. <gasps> I've been going there. Because I just like... lost a life. So it's this one we need, I think. Yeah, there you go. We did one. Oh, we did, a level. did one. So all you, all you have to do is finish the picture. At least we know. Okay, so don't go to the warp no matter what. Yeah, don't go to the warp. It's basically a deathbed. I see. All right. 
I'm getting the game now. Oh, there's two warps now. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out the... Oh, they were quicker. They're so quick. I'm just... Oh, no. I'm just gonna go... Oh, no. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Uh, sorry, I've left you on your own again. I feel like... No! Oof! Oh. Finally starting to get the get the feel. Oh no! Oh, these are these black holes that they were talking about. That's what they are. They're not warps. Oh yeah, of course. The one we literally read about in this. <laughs> <laughs> we're just like, what are these? What are these? Ah! Damn. What was this that gonna was be? Tough. I... That's what I was just looking at. What the hell is that? A mushroom of some kind. No, I'm good weird. for now. We can fit. We can do this. Yeah, we can keep going. I'm I'm hooked now. <laughs> Who would have known? Clue Clue Land would lure me in. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely one of those just one more try complexes. Oh, what? I'm guessing the trampolines appear when you just happen to go through the right channel. Oh, you definitely have to get a feel for the moving around the pegs, though. Yeah, like just, once you once you just... once you get it, like it's uh, it's actually surprisingly fluid. But the timing has to be has to be perfect, and you have to figure out where it's going to lead you. Yeah, because I was thinking it was one specific <sighs> button press, um, but it's not. It's the direction you want the arm to go in, essentially. So I'm kind of sort of getting it now, but not really. I think really. we're back in the heart, by the way. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. But I'm going all the wrong way. No, no, no! <laughs> I'm getting it, but it's still very hard. It's, it is. It's, it's really hard to like visualize where, because it, it's so quick as well. There you go. All right, that's that bit done. No, not the fuck! Come on, we can do it. No, oh, I went in straight into it. The abyss Same. is the abyss is scary. No, no, that. We've got one more. Ah, oh. that's it for me. I'm afraid I'm having left you alone this time. You. No. Okay, wait. Uh, yeah. There it is. You've done it. Right, it's one one heart down. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh, Dylan's come out. He said, look at this OG content. I can honestly tell you that I don't believe anyone else is out here streaming Clue Clue Land, so that's probably very true. On that note, yeah. I, forgot to, I forgot to change the tag that we're playing Clue Clue Land. Let me just do that real quick. Do it, go for it. Oh, jeez, this is so hard at this speed. No, no. I'm trying to work out what this is as well. It looks like another weird mushroom. Ooh, yeah, this is a... Oh! Oh. oh, no! I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> oh, man. Darn it. I really feel like I'm getting this, though. I want to go one more at a time before we call it. Yeah, let's do Yeah, we'll do a, do a couple more. I'm happy. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. What are we going to get this time? I do wonder. I like the little intro music. <laughs> I do as well. And it's interesting, like, um... Because I've been here, I've, I've heard the Clue Clue Land theme in Smash, like, many times now. So it's interesting to actually hear where it's all come from. Mm -hmm. Like, the original 8-bit score where, 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 the, where the music originates. Oh! Oh, Toby, I just discovered something. You can kill the Uniras oh. if you stun them and then knock them into the wall. They die. Permanently. Oh, okay. Awesome. Oh, like this. Like yes. that. And now they're... Oh, but they do respawn later. Oh. But you, you get them oh. off the field. You get them off the field for a little bit, at least. Is this a mushroom? I'm like, what, what is this? It looks like it might be a house. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. Actually. Ah, the universe come from the uh, black holes, so eventually they do spawn back. But how are we supposed to get that middle bit? I'm like, without dying. Oh, there you go, like that. Oh, hello. We did it. We did it. 
And we both got three lives. Oh, this is wonderful. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a little house. Just I think that was a mushroom because the where the where the pink um, things, the pink boomerangs, right? It looked like the eyes of Mario's mushrooms. Oh, that's a terrible Although, puzzle too. Yeah, yeah, who knows? Oh, you get an extra life as well when you go to a new level. So we got four now. That's wonderful. We no, I don't like this. It went to three. <laughs> yeah, the pink bits form part of the picture as well. <sighs> I, I can't. I, all I can do is bounce off walls at the moment. This speed is something else. This is really fast. Did we? Did we did yeah, it's like ah! ah! Sorry for the squealing. No, you're fine. Uh, I was, I was like, oh, I, I, I was about to fall into the black hole, and I was about to. If you push them into the black hole, they don't die. That's very mean. Because I pushed one into the hole, and it was like, nope. Oh, that's their den, Toby. They're not gonna die for about what you yes, said back home. Oh, it's a space invader. Is it a space invader? Yeah, look, we just sneak ah! the picture because the middle bits are the eyes. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like it's like their eyes. Uh, okay, done it. Yeah, it's like a weird bird space invader. Yeah, thing. I'm not. I'm not sure what that was actually. That wasn't yeah. Space, it wasn't an official space invader, but it looked similar. Either way, we've made it to level three, which is farther than we have ever made it. We're on a record here. Record time. Let's do this. I keep pressing pause, uh, uh, like, well, no, I know, I, I think pressing. that was a weird slowdown there, I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this oh, one now. Oh, God. It's 800 seconds. Well, I hate that it's 800... Whoa, I just flipping sped through. No. No. What no. is the speed? Hello. Alright, let me go down there. Alright, just a... a that way? Point. No. Okay, we need to get the this way, I think. This way, this no! way. That, oh, oh. oh, you can't go around there, can you now? Ah. You're watching HP Critical, the number one uh, Clue Clue Line streamers in the world. Because <laughs> we're the only one. We're the only Clue Clue. Ah. <laughs> Go oh. ahead and go ahead and, and go ahead oh. and follow, give us a follow if you want to see more quality Clue Clue Land content on the on the channel. Hey, you might hurt, you might surprise yourself and love Clue Clue Land, but like now, oh. Well, now I really want to try Donkey Kong King of Swing because I heard that this was this was inspired by Clue Clue uh, Land. So. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I know that game, but I never played it. Ah. Um, damn it! I'm trying to figure out. Oh, right. Okay, I need to go this way right now. Oh, I didn't even see that one. What? Oh, was that huh? the time? Oh, yeah, the time! That was the time. I, was like, I thought it resets the every gold? time you reset, but no, it doesn't. No, evidently that, not. That was, that was a pretty decent run, that one. That was. Do you want to call or do you want to do one final run? Should we do one final run? One final run. Let's go for it. Let's see what we can do. And then we can start discussing. Indeed, indeed. Let's do a flag. Oh, this feels slow now, weirdly. <laughs> yeah, it does. Ooh. Oh, but I suppose what? that's a good difficulty thing to get you a feel of the, how everything goes. Yeah, definitely. Okay, I got that flag. Okay. I have no idea what it does, though. No, I don't know if that was just like a generic power-up. I think we got the man again, by the way. Oh, yeah, we have, haven't we? There, and then there. Oh, glimmer now. We can do this. Yeah, I think, I, I presume you have to find the pink bits as well to complete the picture. That seems correct. There we yep. go. Wow! We've gotten quite good at this, I think. <laughs> yeah, we've smashed that. I didn't realize that this had, this, had, this was also another simultaneous two-player mode. All three of the games then have had simultaneous multiplayer mode. I think that's wonderful. Mm-hmm. That was a good good selection. Well, with Ice Climber and Balloon Fight, I did that on purpose. But with Clue Land, I was just like, well, I don't know where else I'm going to slot this in, so I suppose we'll just do that with um, Ice Climber and Balloon Fight then. Then it ended up being working out well. Ah! I've killed one of them. Temporarily. However long that may be. He's dead. No, he's not. 
Okay, another one's dead. Oh, banana, banana. Oh god, they come back really quick on this one. Mm, they do oh. indeed. Actually, ah, oh, there you go. Ah, there's the other bit. Okay, uh, trying to figure out there. No, there, no. Up there. No. I'm really keeping them down, at least. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah, it does seem to be that. Ah! We're almost there. I'm trying to. Ah! Yep, there we go, we got one. Uh, what are we missing? Ah, I see, missing? I see, I top, see the line. The top row? I see the line over here. No. Oh, no. Died in the process. Squished him. Is it, is it that one there? What? It's that one. No, it's not. I don't get it. What are we missing? Here? Oh, here. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, that's like a weird Donnie Darko-esque bunny <laughs> face. <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of. Bonus, bonus. Right, is it, did we get to level four last time or three? This is where we ended up last time. Okay. Oh, it's an apple. It's giving me snake vibes. Beware of them serpents. Ah! 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 No! Oh, the corner ones are such hard ones to get. I've just realised. Yeah, it's... <gasps> I forgot. This is tough. Get that one there. It spawned right in on me. Does it? Oh, uh, okay. It's it's quite a tragedy that. No! 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 Oh, I, I spinned just... into the other one. I'm trying to figure out what this is. I think we're close to figuring out whatever it is. It's just the. the... Oh, there it is. Yeah. It. Oh, it did it. Teddy bear. That kind of looks like a. Te that looks like Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, yeah, I was about to say it looks like Freddy Fazbear from Five Nights. Ah. <laughs> Didn't think we'd have some horror elements. Well, I guess it is the season, right? It is. It is October. Did it? Indeed, October is upon us. It'll there be the most for, for, lackluster for... Halloween ever. But... <laughs> <laughs> for the zero people on our Twitter asking us to do uh, Five Nights at Freddy's for Halloween, uh, there you go. <laughs> ah! Oh, oh no! what happened? What happened? Oh I'm wow! I'm stuck. You're... I'm You're stuck. You can't spin. Oh. oh! Okay. That was harsh. I don't know if that was lag or. <laughs> I don't know either. I feel like that was a, not a thing that would have happened. Oof. Woo! Oh. God, this one's a weird shape. No. Okay, wow, look at you go. No. Ah! There's four. There's four warp pads or black holes. That's, yeah. That's horrible. Well, <laughs> that was the furthest we ever gotten. I think that's great for a final attempt, quite frankly. Yeah, that was a good... I feel yeah. I feel, I feel, feel great about that. Let me go ahead and hit the suspend menu. I feel accomplished. <laughs> I do as well. I do as well. So that was Klukuland. Um, First off... For a game that neither of us have ever tried before, and we're quite confused at it at the very beginning, that ended up being quite a fun time to the point where we ended up going longer than we thought we were going to. <laughs> so, yeah, that game hmm. it has unique swinging mechanics where you have to swing around to kind of get your trajectory going and try to solve a puzzle there. So, I guess this would consider be considered more of a puzzle game, I would say. Definitely some more than a platform because you're trying to solve the puzzle while avoiding the enemies that are about, you know, surrounding you. Um, so with all that being said, yeah, surprisingly fun, good time. But what are you thinking? Yeah, it was definitely a surprising uh, game. I did not expect to... I don't know what I expected, actually, to be fair. I, from, that, from that image, I did not think it would be <laughs> puzzling flinging around orbs in that way um but yeah that was good i liked it i'll definitely play that again i did the I did, whole I... creating the image thing it was like addictive because you're kind of like oh I, I need to i need to reveal what i'm what am i doing <laughs> <laughs> yeah and you have to figure out as you go because not all the puzzles that you um are solving are as clear as you would think but 
And then you well, once you get it, you kind of get it. I mean, there are a few, I think one or two puzzles that we were like, uh, what is that supposed to be? We just kind of did it. But for the most part, yeah. you, you do understand what you're trying to solve. And once you do understand, that is kind of like the genius of this game is that you um, once you understand what you're solving, you have a more clear goal of which part you're trying to um, find gold bar wise in order to complete the puzzle. But it does take a second to to get because, of course, it's not just a straight movement to left, right, down, and up. You are trying to figure out the right way to swing. You have to figure out where your arm will go and how to swing it from there. It did take us a second. But once we started to get it, we started to get a lot better, and we started to complete a lot more levels. And I would even go as far as say, because obviously you can play this game by yourself, and um, you it's it's probably fun that way as well. But I really feel like this is a game that's really meant for co-op as well because I feel like not only is it a lot easier, but I feel like it's a lot more fun to do so. And on that note, we said it while we were playing the game, but all three of the games that we ended up doing today ended up being simultaneous co-op games for the NES. Like, I was talking about how a big deal that was for Ice Climber to have it, and then Balloon Fight had it with as well. But then Cuckoo had it. So all three games, like without me even intending to, ended up to be games that show off the um, the rare NES games that feature simultaneous multiplayer, which really I must stress, do not happen did not happen very often during the NES era. But here you are. They're all here for you to enjoy. And on that note, Cuckoo Land, I think obviously it's another game that just really never got anything else. But I guess with Donkey Kong King of Swing that I now need to try, got it. It was a spiritual success sequel to that game, even though no one really talks about that game. But um, yeah, I can imagine it now as you say it. Was that on the Game Boy Advance or was it? It was. It was. Yeah. And I believe you can even get that game on the Wii U Virtual Console as well. So mm-hmm. if any of you out there that want to try that game and have a Wii U, you can definitely do that. But as far as Cuckoo Land's merits, um, it's a unique game. There's not quite much else out that's like it. I think it once you figure it out, I think it holds up well for the sheer fact that it's just so unique and you're just trying to solve the different puzzles. But how do you feel? It's, it's like it's like P cross, but with like action elements rather than yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Kind of like. Like, yeah, it reminded me of that. It's action P-Cross, because, yeah, like in P-Cross, you're solving um, a puzzle that's uh, meant to be a specific shape, but you're not. Like, it's not like do like yeah. do fought and what have you. It's just like power your way through without taking that, getting taken out by the enemies. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I think that's pretty cool. It... I think it's pretty cool that it ended up being that way. Yeah, Cuckoo Land's fun. Give it a try. You might you once you take a second to uh, get a feel of it, and you might enjoy it. And then if you can convince someone else to try it as well, you might have a good time co-oping to try to get through all the different puzzles in the game. Um, the only thing is, though, I did not see an option for passwords, though. So if you and your partner do die in this, you do seem to have to like start all the way over. Now it does have yeah, only twenty one. That 21- was a bit of a downside. It is very much of a downside. Now they did say that there's only twenty one puzzles compared to some of the other games that had like a lot more levels. So if you just get really good at this game and you can just like knock through all those early levels, maybe that won't be an issue for you. But for a lot of people, I can see um, them struggling with those early levels just to make it all the way to. Uh, all the way back to where they were and have to go to the early levels. So that is a bit of a downside. But <clears throat> if you and a partner or just by yourself really jive with this game, give it a try. That's all. That's that, that's my recommendation to just yeah, give it a try because it's quite unique. I don't. Re- I really don't think I've ever played a game quite like it. And it's so cool that there's so many of these NES games that are just as different. And that's the one thing that I guess is a, a somewhat like indie games you still get you still get ideas i regular all the all kind of ideas but in this era of games like there there's all these different NES games but they're not all 2D platformers they're games of all different kinds like there's a lot of 2D games certainly but then ice climber you know is about getting to the top of the mountain balloon fight is like in this one area where you're trying to beat each other and kuku land is just a top down puzzle game which we had no idea what it was there's just so many cool unique ideas that really didn't get explored anywhere else and i think it's you know I am enjoying doing this series because I'm really trying out some games that I had never really tried before and seeing how many of these cool ideas got. Some of them that ended up going far, like Super Mario Brothers or Kirby, are now franchises that everyone knows. And then you got games like Cuckoo Land that no one's heard about that has surprisingly good gameplay to it. So, yeah. I think that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Anything else you want to say about Cuckoo Land before we uh, start rolling out? No, you pretty much summed it up. Yeah, it's a good little, a fun little bot that you can definitely have yeah. in multiplayer. And you, yeah, that was uh, after you've got the hang of the swinging mechanic, you kind of 
feels a lot more fluid so you can get used to it for sure for sure yeah definitely try it out but anyways that is going to conclude this uh, this episode of H2 Crews Does It Hold Up I hope everyone enjoyed um, so as far as upcoming streams next week I'm going to be taking a look at uh, pretty much every any well, not everyone but almost every single NES sports game that is on this thing uh, so we're going to be checking out volleyball. We're going to be looking at uh, baseball, ice hockey, soccer, tennis. Remember when they could? Remember when games were so new that they could just get away with making the title just tennis, soccer, ice hockey, and then just call it a day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so nice yeah, so I'm going to be checking out all five of those sports games. Uh, as far as the guest, I have no idea. Like, I'll just be transparent. I have not picked a guest for this yet because uh, I don't know who'd be interested in, in playing these sports games. But I'll find someone, people. And then that's what will be happening next week for H.U. Crew Does It Hold Up. We'll see how many of these old um, NES sports games actually hold up. Tecmo Bowl is the only one I didn't cover, but that's going to be a separate, another episode for, like when I do Tecmo games. But yeah, that's coming next week. On uh, Wednesday, I am once again going to be doing some more Fortune Street. Uh, since it is the month of Halloween, I'm going to be going on the ghost ship level. So that should be a lot of fun. And this Friday, myself and Christy will be coming back for more Paper Mario the Origami King, continuing our playthrough of that. Um, we are have a charity stream, so it's going to be a nice long stream too. It's going to be from 8 p.m. Eastern all the way to midnight. Nice four-hour stream, but we should be able to get through a lot of progress in that game on that night. So definitely tune in for those uh, streams because we got a lot of cool stuff coming out for you. Now, if you did enjoy this stream, we invite you to check out our website, hbcritical.com. We have many articles written by writers like myself, available on gaming and other topics like movies, shows, anime, books, and more. And our site does get updated daily, so you can check every day for some new content from us. In addition, if you love our work that we do, whether it be our posts that we do, our articles, podcast streams, or what have you, you can support us at patreon.com slash hpcritical to get goodies like bracelets and stickers, influence on streams, and even spots in our podcasts. You want to stay up to date on everything we do, whether that be our posts, articles, podcast streams, or more, you can follow us on our Instagram at hpcriticalgaming. Facebook at HP Critical and Twitter. Our handle is at critical underscore HP. And last but not least for me, if you sign up to our newsletter on the website, you can get monthly emails and our top rated articles. You can get stream schedules, podcasts, tournament info, and every uh, newsletter also have a thank you to all of our Patreon subscribers as well. Now, the last thing I'm going to let do before I let you guys go is give Toby the floor so he can push, uh, tell you guys whatever, follow his stuff basically. Toby, what you got for them? Mine will be very, very quick and very brief. You can find me on Twitter at Tobes325. I do dabble in the odd uh, writing. Um, I've recently had a little break, but I'm kind of getting back into the swing of things. Um, I mainly write for a site called Rapid Reviews at the moment. You can find them on Twitter under Rapid Reviews. Um, just search that and their handle should come up. Um, but yeah, you can find me at Tobes325 on Twitter and Instagram. I'm always posting mainly gaming-related things. Um, I would say, actually, yes, 90% of it is all gaming-related. Oh, yeah. um, but, yeah, I do uh, do reviews as well, so I, w I post my own writing and work there via rapid reviews as well. So I'm working on a couple at the moment, but we'll, um, yeah, getting back into the swing of it, really. That's oh, that's me. good. That's good to hear. I do enjoy your reviews. And yes, uh, I, I agree with Toby. Definitely check out his Twitter if you haven't already. He posts so many screenshots of games that he loves. I love seeing what he what he's up to on his Twitter. It's always nice. Whether it be um, Progress to Paper Mario or Comic King on his own playthrough or Ori and the Blind Forest, which I know, and Ori and the Will of the Wisps, which I know he loves as well. He always has yeah. a lot of, like, some, he, always, <laughs> he always has some wonderful screenshots to share with, with uh, his followers. So definitely give him a follow if you haven't already. Thanks, but, Brandon. Thank you. Of course, of course. I'm glad to have you here. And thank you for coming out it's for this episode. Um, I can't wait to have you on for a future episode. Uh, I guess we'll do Star Tro I guess you and I will be back for Star Tropics. But if you want to... Yeah, you ever, I'd love it, yeah. But if you ever want to do any other NES games on the on, on this show, I'd be happy to have you because this, this was a lot of fun. Yeah, very much fun. Very much, much fun was had. Agreed. Absolutely. Absolutely. And anyway, so for everyone watching, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is also going to be going up on YouTube two days later. So if you're watching on YouTube, thanks. Appreciate it. I know this is a bit of an early episode, so I hope you guys check out the, the, the discussions and gameplay wherever you guys did. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. You have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye. Bye.